Let me paint you a picture. It's been a long, hard week since your last session. You've had school, you've had work, you've been traveling. And it's come to, let's say, an hour before the session, and you're like, I have got nothing prepared for this next session. The players are coming to this new town, and I just totally forgot. Well, what are you supposed to do in this kind of predicament? Are you supposed to make Boblin a goblin and call it a day? Or are there more useful tools out there that might help? And that's what we're going to cover today. Hey guys, and welcome back to Bag of Tips, here where I try and help you make your games better with what tips I can. And today, we're going to be looking at the Obsidian plugin, known as Fantasy Content Generator. Now, this generator is built with inside Obsidian, within the plugins, which allows you to actually just manage to make things on the fly. So if I just come over to the side here, and look at the Fantasy Generator, and it says, here, let's generate something, and we can select anything from inns and taverns, settlements, we can go from all kind of drinks, artifacts, groups, religions, and even the people. So let's just take this example. They're coming to a settlement. We, we need some examples of things. Let's look at this. We have, I don't know, let's say we don't want it too big. We want to go for Great Zymul, the population of 883. We want to copy that. Come in here and then we'll paste. Now we have that. Maybe we don't like this. Maybe we think that name's a little bit too hard to pronounce. So let's go ahead and change it to just Zimul. Something slightly easier. Now let's go back into that generator again. And look, okay, inns and taverns. They're probably going to go stay at an inn or tavern. Let's generate some names. The Four Mermaid Lodge. There we go, we have a name, the Four Mermaid Lodge, and it even gives a description. Set in a bustling harbour town, within the sound of the waves and seagulls in the air. Maybe we need to go in and change that slightly, depending on the setting, if maybe it's going to be landlocked. And it even gives us a rumour, something that's happening in the area. Let's just say, I don't know, for example, maybe we want to give them a choice, an option. Let's go back to the inns and taverns here. Let's go ahead and make a couple more. And let's see, oh, we want to do the the Drunken King's Inn. That, that sounds like a, a good local. And gives us another big purse on the, uh, the top of the hill. With magnificent views of the city and the surrounding countryside. And then once again, gives us another rumor we might be able to work around and maybe put into our plot line somewhere. Now we've got a couple of places here. Who runs these places? Who, who's currently enjoying a drink there? Let's say maybe we have a dwarf who's furling his brow and we want to go ahead and do a Grader Toravir. We have a name. We Now he's a dwarf. Now we can go in there and start generating content of what this dwarf might actually be. Let's go in here. Who, who's enjoying a drink? Let's say there's a halfling who's a female. Let's get 10 options for there. And we have Edia. And maybe someone else that we're going to get. Let's go for a an elf. Who's male. And let's get another 10 generated here. And we'll do uh, Loralas. Just a name of a couple of people. And now we have their names. Now we can go in there and start generating even more content. Who they are. A couple of descriptive details. Why they're there on that day having a drink or having a meal and what interesting things could happen once our players start interacting with them. Hopefully this kind of paints a picture of some of the things that you can go through and it gives you an idea and an understanding of just how useful a tool like this might be to if a player asks a random question like, I don't know, what what drinks are they serving at the the bar? I, I I'm quite famished and I need a drink. Oh, um, well let's see here. They bring out a uh, a menu and you can see a few types. You can see there is a clouded vodka, there is a raw tea, or there is also a eight wink Java. 
and the player says, oh, I want the, the, the Java, that sounds interesting. And then you can decide on your on top of your head, like, oh, this drink is a um, swirling orange with a, uh, odd little bits of almost like sparkling dust which swirl around. and It looks very enchanting and very delicious. And again, just gives you these kind of tools where you can just bring everything together if you're always stuck and you just need to get a little something to get the um, the juice flowing for creativity. Now, this plugin isn't available just yet um, publicly on the Obsidian um, plugins. However, if you go ahead and look down in the desk below in the description, they're currently got it out on on the GitHub where you can download it and start uh, playtesting and see what you guys think. I recommend giving them some feedback as this is definitely a very, very handy tool. And let them know what you think. Well, hopefully this has been useful, guys. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care and cheerio.